Hey, my name is Jesus Castello from rubyguys.com and in this video we're going to talk about the rotate method, the array rotate method. What is it and how it is useful to you? Let me show you an example. I'm going to create an array. I'm going to call it, call it A. And it's going to have some numbers. One, two, three, four, five. So now let's say that I want to advance the numbers so that two becomes the first number on this array. And then the one becomes the last number. To do that, I call manually remove the one and then it append it to the end, add it to the end of this array. But there is another way we can do that and that's by using the rotate method. So to use rotate, it's just like any other Ruby method. We take our array, A in this case, then we type the name of the method, rotate, and then rotate takes an argument. So we can tell it how many how many positions to rotate. So for this first example, I want to show you with the one rotation. So you will see what happens is that this method we do exactly what I described a moment ago. It took the one and it moved it to the end. So now, as you can see, now the first the list, the array, now starts with a two. Now what if we rotate two positions? What do you think will happen? Well, let's find out. When we rotate two positions, we start with three. So now we move the one and the two to the end, and our list starts with three. So now it is three, four, five, one, two. And of course, you can keep going. And if we keep doing the same, if we keep rotating the array until we get to the array size. And at this point, we get to the same thing. It didn't change because it rotated everything once. So everything ends up in the original position. Okay, so that's the rotate method. Now that we have seen this, let's see a practical, useful example where you can apply this. And that's the example I want to show you is called the Caesars Cipher Algorithm. Caesars Cipher Algorithm. So this is an interesting exercise where you take a string like, for example, bacon. Who doesn't like bacon? And then we encode it in a way that we are rotating the characters. So for example, we take the B and the way we do this is that we look at the alphabet and we look on the next letter after B. So that will become a C. Then the A becomes a B, the C becomes the D, the O becomes a P and the N becomes an O. So now this is what bacon looks like after we put it through the scissors algorithm. Okay. So how do we implement this in code? Because yes, you can do it manually, like you said, like you just saw. You can do it by hand. But if you want to implement this by, with code, you can take advantage of the rotate method. We can create a little map, which says if this letter is B, then convert into into a C. If the letter is A, convert into P. That way, we can use just ask this map, this hash, to what thing we're converting to. So let me show you what I mean. 
first, first we need some characters. So to get our characters, I'm going to create a range from A to Z. So that gives us an array of all of the characters in the alphabet. Now let's go back to our rotate method. Now we can take the rotate method and we can rotate it once and we get what we want, this array. And now with some creativity, because that's one thing that you need to have with programming. So let's do just that. We can combine our original characters, characters with the method, the zip method. I have another video about that, which explains what the zip method is. Um, now we get a new array. This is a multi-dimensional array, which means we have arrays inside arrays, like this. And uh, finally, one last step is to convert this into a hash. And in modern versions of Ruby, we can do that using the 2H method, 2H method. And now we have a hash. And notice how it tells you what character needs to convert it, needs to be converted into what character. So on our bacon example, if we go back to that, we made the B into a C. Now if we look here, B goes into C. The for example the A B A B. So that's how this works. And you can do the same for the reverse version to go back to the original. So to go from this into this, you can follow almost the same um, process. And this is where we use rotate because rotate allows the rotate method advance the array. So we can then combine it with zip and convert it into a hash. So I hope you found this useful and interesting. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel yet, if you haven't yet. Also, you might want to visit my website, rubyguides.com, if you're not familiar with it, because there you will find a lot of free Ruby tutorials to help you improve your Ruby skills. So thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.